Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with another envelope tutorial. I know, it's like the theme of my blog this summer. We all need more envelope tutorials. Uh, but actually, I'm going to show you how to use a moldy oldie tool because I know the envelope punch board is so popular. Everybody wants it because it cuts the cool notches. Well, I found a tool that I had in my stash, and you might have it too. It's the basic gray notch and die tool, and you can use it to round the corners of your envelopes. You can use it to cut the notches in the corners, and you can also use it, which is something the punch board doesn't have, you can use it to make a little slit in the um, in the envelope so you can close it without adhesive, which is cool. So if you're handing somebody a card, here's a little card for you. Um, you don't have to put adhesive on it, it can be reused. So, you know, something else you could do with a tool you already have, hopefully. If not, you can use a craft knife or your scissors. Um, but, you know, if you got it, why not use it? So let's go to the table and I'll show you how it's done. All right, go. Cool. I have some mad editing on the fly skills, don't I? That was pretty slick, wasn't it? All right, so uh, you can use a score pal. You can use your rip and flip envelope templates. You can trace a template, whatever you want to get your uh, score lines down. I'm using the um, envelope box creator because that's my new favorite um, tool. I've got a seven and a half inch piece of paper and I'm going to score it on the E and G lines because that's going to give me a standard A2 size card. The only thing I have to be careful of is that when I talk and I'm doing this, I often forget we're supposed to score and then I end up with some weird old wonky envelope and uh, if that happens you know that's why <laughs> I'm not gonna reshoot it you'll just have to look at my wonky envelope but I think you'll all uh, you'll be able to handle that so we got our score lines on there oh that's a uh, that's vivid um, so I'm not sure if you can see them that well but anyway um, I can so that's all that really matters I guess I'm going over to my cutting mat and I have the tool on this if you look at this Here's the, what the box looks like if you have it or if you see one on a yard sale and it's got these little tips in here to cut different notches, either a straight, curved, or a angle. And I'm going to use the angle one first. And you do have to kind of press this hard, so if you are somebody with arthritis or strength issues, this might be difficult, but you can see you get a really nice little notch there. And I'm going to repeat that um, on the score line of each card here. So, hey, if you have this tool, it was kind of an expensive tool when it came out. I think it was like $17, and I used a coupon on it, and still I, you know, had some help, heart palpitations forking over the cash for that. Um, if, you, if you have one, it's good to be able to find something else you can do with it. All right, so we've got our notches. Now, if you want to round the corner, you can go ahead and do that now and use your oval, your kind of curved tip. You see that? It's... It's metallic on the top, so it can sometimes be hard to see it. These are very sharp, by the way. Do not leave these lying around um, where your kids can get a hold of them because they're really sharp. Um, they're kind of almost as sharp as like uh, linoleum carving tools. And I'm just going to, you don't want to, if you're going to round a corner, you don't want to just go down like that because you're going to cut like almost a whole half circle. So you don't want to do that. You just want to kind of rock it along the edge. So you just round the tip, just like that. All right, now if you want to do a slot on the envelope you want to um you probably want to use a pencil just so you get a nice marking actually i want to fold it this way because otherwise i'm going to crack the paper um and use a pencil to make a little mark on either side i just kind of put the straight tool in because it's only going to cut a line so long so what i'm going to do is kind of eyeball it here the famous eyeball tool and put a little mark on either side where I want to cut because I don't want to cut through the whole thing and then I hope my head's not in the way because I'm kind of sticking my head over there so I can see those lines then I'm just going to press it down really good to make sure that I get a slot there of course you know you can use a craft knife if you have one I'm just trying to give you a use for this tool if you happen to have it um, there's nothing that you can can't do with anything else just like everything else you know all right so we fold our sides in you can snip that off if you want to. I think I'll snip that off. I'll try to keep it level. I'm not so good at snipping that off straight. I don't know what the big... Yeah, look at that. It's crooked. <laughs> I don't know why I cannot snip the tips of my, you know, bottom part of my envelope, envelope off straight. It'll just be the little charming, uh, endearing quality of any of my handmade envelopes, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Handmade. It's supposed to look handmade. It's supposed to not look perfect, right? That is my story, and I'm sticking to it. And if anybody gives you grief about it, a lopsided envelope, tell them it's supposed to be that way. Lindsay said so. Absolutely. All right. So, hey, you know what? I did a pretty good job. Look at that. All right. So now I'm going to fold this down. And look, I could tuck that right into the slot. Hopefully. Oops, I didn't press my adhesive down very good. All right. I'm using a little score tape there. 
and the easiest pie, just as always, it always works good until I go to film a video and then I can't get anything to line up right. There we go. So then it's in the slot and we've got a little envelope that will hold itself closed. Great for giving pictures or um, a card or whatever. This is a standard size for your A2 card, so that worked out pretty well too. There's the other one that I didn't cut the uh, little tip off. But um, So it's a new use for an old tool that you probably already have. If not, we'll have another run on the... Uh, all the stores will have a run on these tools like the roll taps <laughs> last week. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, and then, you know, you just store this tool back in here. And... Uh, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Make envelopes. It's fun. Until next time, happy crafting.